Phosphorus and Plant Nutrition. This video is going to focus on phosphorus and plant nutrition, specifically in regards to container production. We will go over four areas of phosphorus nutrition, its uptake into the plant, its mobility within the plant, deficiency and toxicity symptoms in the plant, and then finally, how to correct these deficiencies and or toxicities if they occur in your production system. Phosphorus is taken up in the plant actively, which means it requires energy. The form in which phosphorus is taken up is by phosphate ions. This is because phosphate is negatively charged and has to be taken up against the negatively charged electrochemical gradient in the root system. Now, once phosphorus is taken up into the plant, it is translocated to the areas of the plant that require phosphorus. If there is inadequate phosphorus in the root system because there is not enough in the media or you have poorly growing root systems where the phosphorus cannot be taken up by the roots, then what will happen is phosphorus can be remobilized from the oldest growth and translocated up into the new growth. This occurs via the phloem. Mobility. Now, if these symptoms are not corrected, and phosphorus is not applied to the soil or root systems do not recover, then phosphorus deficiency symptoms will progress from the oldest to the newest growth in the plant. Deficiencies and toxicities. What do phosphorus deficiencies and toxicities look like in the plant? If phosphorus is deficient in plants, there will be a dark green or purple or necrosis in the oldest leaves first. Also, roots can be stunted if there is an adequate phosphorus. Because of the stunted roots, there can be a general decrease in nutrient uptake in the plant. And finally, if phosphorus deficiencies go unchecked, you can have reduced flowering, seed, and fruit production in the plant. Now, there can also be toxicities of phosphorus in container production. Toxicity can occur if there is excess phosphorus in the soil. This can interfere with the uptake of iron, zinc, and copper and cause deficiency symptoms of these nutrients. Phosphorus toxicity can also occur in plants from Proteaceae since they are sensitive to phosphorus. High soil phosphorus levels can cause iron deficiency, which is a chlorosis of the newest growth in plants. Also, high phosphorus content in the soil can cause stem elongation and this is a problem in seedling production and young plant production in greenhouses. So how do we correct these deficiencies and toxicities of phosphorus? Well, to correct deficiency symptoms, check to make sure if the fertilizers contain an adequate amount of phosphorus. Check your fertilizer injectors and check the fertilizer rates. Remember. Phosphorus is the second number in the fertilizer bag of NPK. Check to make sure if this value is high enough. Also, check for fertilizer precipitating out of the solution. If you are applying phosphorus in a nutrient solution, it can often precipitate out with other chemicals. Make sure the solubility is compatible with other fertilizers that you are using in your nutrient solution. Now, environmentally speaking, if the containers are cold, the soils are cold, especially early in the spring. If you can, move the plant to a greenhouse or other warm structure or consider bottom heat which will encourage growth and allow the plant to take up the phosphorus that is already in the media. Now, how do you correct phosphorus toxicity symptoms? This is a little more challenging. First of all, make sure the phosphorus and the fertilizer are not too high. If you are applying phosphorus, through fertigation, reduce the amount of phosphorus in the fertigation program. If phosphorus is already in the media, leach the containers one to three times until the electrical conductivity of the leachate coming out of the containers decreases. Repeat until the symptoms begin to disappear. Check the fertilizer injectors to make sure they are functioning properly. If you are acidifying your irrigation water with phosphoric acid to reduce alkalinity, Check your fertility program to make sure you are not getting a lot of phosphorus coming out in this acidification process. If so, you will need to consider another acidification source. 
If the containers are cold, again, move the containers to a greenhouse or another warm structure to encourage plant growth and sometimes the plants will grow out of the toxicity symptoms. If your production program includes substrates, such as mushroom compost, manures, and bone meals, analyze these for phosphorus content. This is what we learned in this module.